What's up now? It's your boy back again. Hey Zeus. Uh Deuces. AKA Deuces. Uh, so uh as I'm transitioning into my next part of life. I'm trying to see how to say that right. But as I'm transitioning into something new, uh, trying to change the way I think, the way I do things, uh, it's scary. Like, I have to tell myself, uh, man, don't be scared to go make money, you know? I got a lot of ideas and been had them for a long time, so now I'm trying to put it into play, you know? And having it on paper and actually doing it are two different things. So today I was riding around, you know, looking for business, still waiting on my job to come through, I'm waiting on my drug test. Uh, I'm gonna take a look last Friday, so I'm just waiting for that to come through. But uh, hopefully it will it'll be within the next couple of days and then I'll be able to start next week, which is my ultimate goal. Uh, and uh, get my found, start working on my foundation. And what I mean by that is that now that I have something stable, uh, I can move forward, you know, one major thing is a house. Uh, second thing is the business, you know. I want my own. I'm just, I have my own, but I, I need to be able to make it more profitable. And like I say, my goal is to build entrepreneurs and, and uh, uplift the kingdom. My ultimate two goals, you know. Uh, I've had money. I've lost a lot of money. Uh, you know. I know the struggles. And I know that it's all a learning lesson. Like, you go through things in order to learn. And I tell people all the time, if you don't have it right now, it's just because God is still preparing you for it. And that's just how people, you know, that's how I look at things. So because I don't have it right now, doesn't make me angry about it. It just makes me know that uh, it's still things God working on me with. And even I can see that right now. And like, man, you know, being patient with the job, scenario the things happen man I've been out of work for probably almost two years now just been you know hustling selling food barbecue pits whatever I came across to do that's what I did you know what I'm saying and while I was getting my foundation together and that's the most important thing is to get the foundation together uh and do my website like I got my it took me almost two two years to you know do my website uh, a lot of stuff that I had in the past, I lost it because I didn't do it right. So I would always tell people, first thing, man, try to get your website together. Uh, that's the most important thing. That way people can actually see your work. And uh, everything that I build, I use it, I test it, you know, it's quality. So I'm not just half-assing when it comes to stuff like that. My stuff is quality. It took a long time to get it to looking right because it was, I was such in a rush, but it was always quality, you know. Uh, I had to realize during the barbecue pits, everybody don't need a barbecue pit. So in my business, like, I had to find something, like, stable, like, even in welding, oil and gas, that mostly, mostly what I've been in, it's not stable. So, as I turn 40, I'm uh, trying to combine everything 
to be able to not have lack. You know, I used to want to say, hey, man, I'm going to be a millionaire, but that, that, well, life don't work like that. But into getting into that, you know, I've been rambling for like five minutes. So, you know, while I'm making this video, uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I got out of my comfort zone today. So I went out, I talked to a couple of stores, uh, just trying to get some feedback, you know. And that's the hardest thing is kind of getting out of your comfort zone because I'm a builder by trade, man. That, that's what I do. I build things. So I, I would love, I could, you could set me somewhere with a radio and a, some welding torch and some plate, and I'm good. I could do it for all day long. That's me. So getting in the aspect of the business part of it, you know, that's that that's what I need to do. So I stepped out of my cover zone today, got the button up. Eh, don't like it. But, you know, so I went out today. I talked to a couple of uh, stores. I said, hey, man, uh, you know, what's up with uh, maybe uh, – being able to cook in the stores, put barbecue pits in the stores and things like that, just getting the feedback and see what they say. And, you know, it came out. I, I got some positive feedback. Nothing really negative, you know what I'm saying? And people telling me things. So I guess that was good. So I know what direction I'm headed, you know, and it's all about putting together a team. And the foundation... And this is what I was making a video for. The first, you get your foundation, which I've got that. You know, the website, that's the foundation. Now, putting together the team is the next important thing. You know, I've dealt with a lot of people in my years of working and, you know, working for myself and, and business. And it's just that you got to find the right people, like, you have to invest in people, and that's hard to do because, you know, most people want to quit, 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 quit. Man, I've done stuff in my life just for the experience, and I think that's what grounds me is because I know with knowledge, you get the money. You know what I'm saying? So can't nobody take knowledge away from you. So that's why a lot of times, that's why when I say I planted seeds, bro, I planted seeds. Like I would do stuff for nothing just to get that experience and that knowledge. And that's what I think a lot of people miss. You know, it, it's not going to be quick. Like if you want something to sustain, it's not going to be quick. So you have to put the time and the effort in even when you don't want to. And I've done that. I've done it to the point where I've been broke and homeless. I've done that. I ain't saying that's the right way, but I've done that. So I put a lot of time and effort into what I'm doing. Like the ideas that I have, it's not something that, oh, I thought of overnight. No, nah, it's stuff that I've actually done and still doing and still trying to perfect. You know what I'm saying? You can always be better at whatever you do. You don't have to stick to one thing. You don't have to be just good at one thing. You can have a number of different things going on to be able to sustain because that's what it's about. It's about sustaining. So now I'm trying to put it into action. So foundation, now I'm trying to put together a team. You see what I'm saying? And I want to deal with people that want their own Things. Like, I've never been, I don't want to be nobody boss, man, you know what I'm saying? I, hell, I want to work for myself. Why would I want somebody else to work for me? You see what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. That's why I say I want to build entrepreneurs. I feel like, hell, I got enough ideas for people to make money that it's just ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I feel, like. You know, I feel like people who have knowledge don't pass it along, don't want to see nobody else do good. I, 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 you can ask anybody that really know me. I, I'm not like that, man. I want to see people, you know, prosperous and make money and, you know, enjoy life because that's how we grow. You know what I'm saying? But 
I just never had that. I guess, you know, like I said, God, I think God was just steady building me for what I got coming. So I wanted to, that, that's what the video was all about. It got a little lengthy, but I'm going to start be shooting more of these videos, man. You know, if you look around, man, people are successful, successful because they're around people that are successful. And sometimes it's hard to do, man. Like, like if you ain't grew up with them and just know them from jump, it's hard to let other people in. You know, a lot of times I, I think that, um, what I'm trying to say, a lot of times, like, I think, like, I would really love for my family, like, family members to get in on what I got going on and build family wealth. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I really think it's about. It's about being able to provide for your family generation after generation after generation and give them a better life than you had. I really do believe that. It just I'm just country like that. But, you know, a lot of times, man, it's... I don't want to say what I. Well, yeah, I'm. It's a lot of time family don't look look at that, look at things like that, and that's what hurts us is because we don't have family support systems, and and, and everybody's trying to do everything on their own and be like, man, I did this. Nah, it don't work. You'll forever be crabbing. That's the word I want you crabbing, man. Like, like everybody can eat. Simple as that. But you got to be hungry. You got to want it. You got to put time in. You know what I'm saying? You got to do these things in order to get what you want. Like, a lot of people don't, don't get that, man. It's not going to happen overnight. When you go to any job, you got to train and do that job. You know what I'm saying? And then when you... If somebody trying to say, okay, man, it's so many people I told, like, dude, I build a stuff, man, just come get it. That's, like, I build fish trailers, <clears throat> fish cookers, barbecue pit, anything got something to do with cooking. I say, hey, man, I got this, man, shoot me a little money. Shoot me a little money just to keep me going and doing what I need to be doing, and then everybody can make some money. But I never had anybody take me up on it. You know what I'm saying? So, man, that's a problem. Like, it's kind of off the subject, but that's a problem. It's like I told people, hey, man, come get this. You know what you need. You know what I'm saying? That's me trying to help you make money, I, you know? And me make, excuse me, me make money too. But people don't get that. Like, I don't understand that. Like, like a nigga trying to get over on them or something. It was never that. It was like, let's make money together. And then the people that did do it, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, hold me out. I got somebody still owe me like $1,600 for a trailer. I ain't saying no name, but you know what I'm saying? I had my trailer three years now. I ain't even say, man, shoot me. Let me do this. Man, shoot me a hundred. But, you know, I don't dwell on stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just I can't, I can't fool with them no more. And I'm coming to a time where, like, it's really finna go down. Like, it's finna happen. So, I am looking for people that want to do their own thing and, you know what I'm saying, collab on some stuff and make some bread, man. You know, just to, just, I ain't saying, you know, be millionaires, but I'm saying, man, hey, at least you got some extra money coming in somewhere because that's what it's about, you know? Uh, uh, Papa used to say, uh, quarters, uh, pennies turn into nickels, nickels turn into dimes, dimes turn into quarters, quarters turn into dollars. That's how I look at life. You know what I'm saying? Every little bit helps. So, I, again, I'm going to be shooting more videos talking about like like business stuff I know I, I I'm not the type of person to articulate very well and so you know I just want to be a blessing to somebody because 
Like somebody ne- might need to hear this. You know what I'm saying? If you got a family member that that's doing, trying to do something, you know what I'm saying, and really got skin in the game, like I got 20 years of skin in the game, over 20 years. Like when I started welding, like I, I had – Two jobs, work for a company, and then go hustle with this other guy, building barbecue pits and food trailer. I got skin in the game, bro. Like, all my welding stuff, I ain't even tipped the scales of all the experience I got. Man, I don't forgot most stuff that I can even remember. That sounds screwed up, but same way with cooking. Like, man, I don't did so much stuff, and it's just I got a lot of skin in the game. So, you know, if you got somebody out there trying to do something and need a little help and got skin in the game, you know what I'm saying? Support that. Like, it's, it's, it's really crazy that, that we don't support each other like we should. And then sometimes you ain't got it. You know, people don't, don't have it like that. But if you got somebody that's doing something, like, hey, you know, hell, anybody can, like I say, everybody don't need a barbecue pit, but everybody got to eat. So, hey, man, you know, support support that uh, with anybody that's doing something because every little bit helps. Share. Tell people, hey, man, I got somebody uh, that do grills or barbecue pits. I got somebody that cut yards. I got somebody that cut hair. I got somebody that do this. I got somebody that do that. You know what I'm saying? Show love. Like, a lot of people, man, they do stuff, and if they can't make no money out of it, they won't tell nobody about it. That's effed up. And then, you know what I'm saying? That that That's a, a lot of what I think it is. If somebody can't make no money out of it, like, ah, man, I ain't telling nobody. If I can't get no money off, I, can't nobody get no money off of it. That's how a lot of niggas is. That's why the game screwed up. You know what I'm saying? And then you plan stuff with people, and then they go off and don't tell you when when they got something going on. If I ride with you, I ride with you. It, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you know those are some issues that 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 you gotta watch out for. But put together a good team, man, and get that bread. That's what we got to do, man. We got to stop trying to crumb off one another with ideas and all these things. You know what I'm saying? If you're telling, if everybody come together, put their heads together, it's going to go down. It's simple as that. It's going to go down. Everybody going to make a little money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just talking about I ain't talking about specific, like, black people or anything like that. It's just like anybody, like, anybody that got some ideas to get out there and try to make some money because once you get your foundation together, you get your team together, then you start doing your marketing, then it's going to be there. It's going to be there. The biggest thing is marketing. So once you put your team together get out there and market, it's going to be there. So then you got to be able to produce what you say. So in that, you know, I'm going to go and like I said, I'm going to be doing more videos and things like that and uh, try to help some people, bless them with, with my knowledge that I have over my little 20 years of trying to do some things. A little bit over 20 years. But um, everybody have a blessed day. Check out the website, www.deuces.com, D-U-C-E-Z-S.com. I got the pit on there, the, the barbecue pits. I got the food on there. And uh, make way for the, uh, the restaurant coming soon, probably by the end of the year. Uh Gonna have a storefront in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have the shirts in there, the t-shirts, the uh, the food, the barbecue pits, man. It's going, it's gonna be going down. So, be blessed.
and thank you. See you soon.